Hello, my name is Ronnie Rios, and in this video we'll explore one of the most exciting new features of FileMaker 19, JavaScript integration, allowing you to embed things in your FileMaker apps like maps, animated graphics, data visualization, and more. In order to provide you the tools to create the best modern app experiences, Claris has a vision to make powerful technologies available to everyone. We want to make sure that the power of cloud smart technology is available not just in the cloud, but on every device, on-premise, or even offline. Low-code technology is accessible to all users, but also extensible by developers. And powerful technology means things like cloud and AI, and now JavaScript, the technologies that your customers require in their modern apps. Now, while it's true that JavaScript could be used in WebViewer in prior versions, FileMaker 19 provides an elegant method for JavaScript in a WebViewer and FileMaker scripts to communicate directly. Each can call each other and pass parameters between them. JavaScript integration is a game changer for developers looking to extend beyond native FileMaker tools for design and functionality. You can, can create more powerful modern apps using readily available libraries or your own custom JavaScript code in a web viewer. Directly embed things in your apps like maps, animated graphics, data visualization, and more. The ever-growing collection of JavaScript libraries readily available now unlocks a universe of possibilities at the fingertips of developers without ever having to leave the FileMaker platform. In FileMaker 19, JavaScript in a web viewer and FileMaker scripts can communicate directly and pass information between them through a new script step and function. The Perform JavaScript in WebViewer script step performs a JavaScript function that has been loaded in the WebViewer. The FileMaker Perform script function can be called by JavaScript code in a WebViewer to run a FileMaker script in the current file. So let's briefly talk about these two. Let's start with the Perform script in WebViewer script step. It allows you to perform a JavaScript function in a web viewer from a FileMaker script. It's supported in FileMaker Pro, FileMaker Go, and FileMaker Web Direct only. It has three parameters. The object name. It's the name of the web viewer object. If not specified, the active web viewer is used. Function. It's the name of the JavaScript function to perform. This name is case sensitive. And third, parameters. It's one or more optional text parameters that will be passed along to the JavaScript function. Something important to note is that any value returned by the JavaScript function is ignored by the script step. While the JavaScript function is being performed, users can't cancel the operation or perform any other actions. And in FileMaker Web Direct, this script step only works if the web viewer's web page has the same origin as the FileMaker Web Direct page. The FileMaker Perform Script function allows for communication from JavaScript in a web viewer to a FileMaker script. This means that JavaScript code can call this function to run a FileMaker script while passing a parameter. Itself actually has two parameters. First is a string containing the name of the FileMaker script. This script name is not case sensitive. The second parameter is an optional string that JavaScript can pass to a FileMaker script. This string can be, then be retrieved by using the getScriptParameter function in the FileMaker script. Something to note is that this function does not wait for the FileMaker script to finish. So the FileMaker script doesn't return any value to the FileMaker Perform script function that called it. Now let's briefly see this exciting new feature in action. To better understand the following example, the web viewer's JavaScript code is on display and highlighted on the left. Submitting the form in the web viewer will perform the stored data from web form FileMaker script, passing the values of the form as parameters. The FileMaker script will then save the values into the field. On the other end, clicking this button here will run a FileMaker script that performs the setUserData function in the WebViewer's JavaScript, which then updates the form.
And with a bit more code, we can leverage powerful libraries like this one for fully interactive and engaging data visualizations. So that's a quick look at the new JavaScript integration feature. Hope you're as excited as I am and can't wait to see how you use it in your next project. Thank you so much for watching.